So I'm making a video about version history in both Substack and Google Docs. And this, what I wrote this morning right here gave, uh, seems to have given the um, black harasser a heads up because uh, when I went back, I, I didn't, I didn't ever go back to those, uh, to the version histories of those two posts, those two previous posts that he had mutilated. Um, and in fact, I, I only recently discovered version history. And, uh, so this is, this is the post from November 3rd. And, uh, which means that I wrote the post that he ravaged on, uh, November 2nd. It was only November 3rd in the morning that I noticed it was completely um, mutilated. And so when I looked in version history, um, I see every single day, every single day, like, As you can see, it's like literally the whole month of October that I wrote on this post. Except for So here's November 3rd, which is the day that I discovered it had um, been chopped up. And the fact, okay, so there's no no November 2nd. And I know I wrote on November 2nd because November 3rd was the, the morning that I put in the post header that um, the post had been messed with. And I have the uh, metrics to show that that was the day that I had the most views. It was like 298 views because of that header. And yet there's no November 2nd. And that's because I had written this morning um, this right here, which gave him the heads up to like, do whatever he does to uh, delete that date. But when I go into the document itself, where I work before I transfer to Substack, there's the November 2nd. I don't know why 1044 is uh, PM is uh, on top of 12 in the morning, but um, this is, this is, this is the one document that I'm writing on the black guy. And there's the date. But yet it's not recorded in Substack's version history because he removed it. And that's because of this, this morning. But it doesn't matter because I mean, everybody who's 
you know, there were over 200 visits that day that saw that heading. And I only wrote that heading because I had worked on it the night before and I published it. I always, after work, I always work on, on, um, on this. It's my goal to call out the uh, offenders. It's, it's, that's all I'm focused on. And I don't do anything else but write on this. Write about, you know, write this, write on this. And um, I just think, you know, that's, again, this is just uh, a reflection of how deranged this person is. And he thinks I'm like playing his game. I'm not playing a game. I, I don't, I'm not that, I'm not a fiend. <laughs> All I'm doing is cleaning up his shit. This person is so toxic. It's just, I just can't believe he's, he's in my life. And I, my goal is to get a digital.